So the, today I just wanted to compare uh, one of these cells that came out of the Mitsubishi Outlander to standard uh, LiPo batteries. I done a discharge test on this. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago now, and I got just over 28 amp. No, sorry, I just got over um, 38 amp hours out of it. Um, I ch charged it up to 4.15 per cell and then uh, took it down uh, to about uh, 3.4 and that resulted in uh, just over 38 amp hours. So we'll see how much it weighs. So it's 1,408 grams and the same amount of lipo cells. Uh, this is 40 amp hours worth of lipo cells weighs only 986 grams now this is much heavier because it's it's uh, a vastly better quality of battery compared to these turnage cells these things although i've never had them go on fire um in fact i've had them i've had these damaged inside a electric bike casing with a with a uh, hole in them and they didn't go on fire they, they were just sitting at some of them were just sitting at zero volts um and other times I've just had them puff up for no apparent reason. Uh, just sitting at storage voltage. Uh, but this here, it's, it's heavier because uh, the, the electrodes inside are probably thicker. And it's got a metal case as well. So I don't think these would be very good for things like an electric bike. Uh, where weight is really critical. These things are brilliant for like cars and solar power storage. And... In the Mitsubishi Outlander, uh, it's got two 60 kilowatt motors, so that's about 120 kilowatts uh, maximum that the pack had to give out. So I did the calculations, and it, and it was about 400 amps being pulled out of uh, this, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of power. That's about 10C, I'm sure. Uh, but these should last many years in my solar power system because the most power I'll ever be pulling out of these is um, the whole bank is uh, maybe 3000 watts uh, and each battery will probably not even be supplying 10 amps uh, each battery might only be having to give out like maybe 8 amps so they'll be living a really long and easy life uh, so just uh, a little comparison there. Currently these are still doing really well. They're, uh, they stay in balance very well and I've never had them up to a voltage such that my balancers have activated. I've set them to activate at 4 volts per cell. Well, just uh, whenever it goes above 4 volts these try and keep it down at 4. Uh, and I'm charging the car just now with the solar power that was stored during the day. Uh, they're still working fine.